Welcome to my Stan Store digital products tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to sell digital products on Stan Store. And if you'd like to follow along, you can simply click the link in the description to do that or just try Stan Store for free. I'm not big on introductions, so let's get right on into it. All right, so what I'm going to do is take my time. I'm going to go step by step in case this is the first time you are using Stan Store so you can get familiar with it. What we want to do is go to the My Store section on the left, and what we want to do from there is click on this big blue button, Add Product. All right, now that we are here, we want to create a digital product, so let's simply click on Community. Just kidding, making sure you're paying attention. Let's click on Digital Product right here. All right, so what I love about Stan Store is that it is really easy to create a digital product with this, and I'm going to walk you through. So let's go through the steps. That's all you really need to do, steps on this page. Go here, do the steps on that page, choose some options if needed, okay? So for picking a style, you can simply click on it and see what it's going to look like. Button's going to be the smallest. We have a call out, which I prefer over that because you get the button here, which is nice. And of course, a preview if you want to add that. I think call out looks the best, but feel free to use whatever it is that you like. Now, if you want to select an image, you can say like for this little ebook icon, I think it looks fine. If you wanted to change it to something else, say like an ebook PDF would be great. If you have a very small and condensed image of what you're selling to, like the logo or the title or just like the box, you can put it there as well. But I'm going to keep it as it is. It's pretty self-explanatory, right? If you want to change it, simply click on choose image. Okay. Now we have our ad text. So as you can see, it's going to line up right here. Get my blank now. So you can just simply put ebook there if you want. You can make it look a little bit more spiffy if you want. You can remove the exclamation point. It's not kind of in my thing to yell at people. Get my ebook now. So you can just put it like this. And it says, we will deliver this file right to your inbox. Now, I like keeping this here just in case someone misses out on it later. Because that's a very important part. What's going to happen is that when they purchase your ebook, it's going to be sent to their inbox. And if they miss that, you might have some customer support emails saying, Where's my file? Okay, so with that in mind, I'm just gonna say something like this. You could even just put I if it's just you, right? So, and then get my guide. I like doing click here to continue, or if you know, say you're gonna be selling a lot on social media like Instagram where people are using their phone more often, you can also do tap, because if they're gonna be on mobile phone, it makes more sense, but you know, continue, people are gonna know. I put continue here to continue, there we go. One of those days, click here to continue. I think that'll be just fine, but I'm just kind of showcasing some of the options, okay? So that's gonna be that. Pretty straightforward so far, right? Let's click on the next button. All right, so here's gonna be an image right here where we can very easily change this. If we want to, I'm gonna click on choose image. And you can use any of these. They might not pertain to what you're selling. You can give it a try, but I'm just gonna upload one that I have on my computer. All right, so this is going to be it. This is just an example as well. And if we want to do this to kind of make it look a little bit better, I think that's going to be perfect. Let's do use this photo and we can kind of move it up and down, but that looks fine. All right, perfect. So let's just say that this was going to be in Marketing Island ebook. We now have our description body. So as you can see right here, not a whole lot going on here, but generating with I is actually very useful. So if you want to use this, you can say this ebook will teach you everything you need to, and then like, you know, big benefits here. This guide is for you if you're looking to. And once again, these would be bullet points. So if this was an example, say for Marketing Island, I can show you how to, you know, generate leads and sales around the clock, how to generate traffic and gain subscribers every day, how to automate your email marketing, how to get more organic traffic, how to do JV deals, affiliate partnerships, and so on and so forth. Just some of the big benefits that your ebook or whatever it is you're selling is going to talk about, right? Aside from that, generate with AI is actually pretty good. So I want to show you how to use this. So briefly describe your product and what makes it special to your audience. So I'm going to do that. And when I'm done, I'll get back to you. And then I'm going to show you what it comes out with because it's actually pretty good. All right, so the Marketing Island ebook is all about creating videos on YouTube that attract your perfect audience and generate leads and sales around the clock. You'll learn everything from creating your YouTube channel to creating videos to lead generation to sales to SEO and more. So not a whole lot there, but it's enough to give AI enough you know, information to create something that's going to be worth using. So do the same thing with yours. You know your digital product better than anyone else in the world, or at least you should, okay? Maybe you're not too familiar with it yet because you haven't actually created it and sold a ton of it, but that's fine. But ultimately here, just give a good explanation and a good amount of detail so that AI knows exactly what you're doing. When you are done, click on the Generate button right here. 
All right, and we have generated something. So are you ready to revolutionize your YouTube game and skyrocket your online presence? I'm gonna skim through so I don't have to read all this, right? So big bullet points here, elevating your YouTube channel, dominate lead gen, boost sales like never before, master the secrets of SEO. Uh, it says why choose it, kind of like a roadmap, that's cool. There's also a spot here where you can add testimonials. And if there's anything in here that you don't wanna use, don't worry, you can just you know remove it. But Assuming you like what it generated, what you want to do is click on replace. And as you can see, it's going to replace what was in there before. So this is where you can kind of go in and make any tweaks here, wordsmith a little. If it sounds a little bit too much like AI and not like you, you know, make some changes. That's going to be up to you. Like I said, you know your digital product better than anyone else. If you are just getting started, like you don't have any testimonials so far, that's completely fine. We've all been there before to simply like delete that and you can change some things around. But could probably just also do this just because we're going to have some stuff down there, right? Get my guide is already there. So perfect. So let's keep it as it is. And like I said, this is more so about going in and changing around. These are going to be some of the options that you can use. This is going to be a video embed, I believe. Yes. So you can embed a YouTube video there if needed. You have images, you have links, and it's pretty straightforward aside from that. Okay. All right, so the bottom title, get my guide. That's fine. Let's keep it as that. If you want to change around, feel free to purchase. I like buy now, just something people are used to, right? Uh, it's not showing up here, but what I wanna do is scroll down and just do save as draft. And let's actually go back to it here. Let's go to the checkout page. There we go. And if you'll scroll down, now you can see it says buy now. So I just wanted to showcase that sometimes when you enter it in, you just have to do save. Like this says get my guide. Let's say get my ebook or get the marketing island ebook. Let's do that. And once again, you notice how it still showcases this. Once again, let's just do save draft and go back to it. Okay, let's go to our ebook. Let's go to checkout page. And if we scroll down, get the Marketing Island ebook. Okay, so just wanted to showcase that in case you were curious about it. Now, here's a great way to help increase your sales. If you have a discount price, what you can do is actually showcase it. So let's say it's normally $19.99, but the discount price is going to be $9.99, about 50% off, right? So total is gonna be there and this is going to be $9.99. And if you scroll up, it's gonna showcase the, the price slashed, which is a very good strategic thing to do. If you've ever been to TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I don't know if they have that where you are. If you're in the States, I used to be in Connecticut. I'm in Florida now and they're everywhere. And if you've ever noticed this, you go to buy like a Polo Ralph Lauren shirt. It's like now $14.99. It says compare to what you would pay there is like $60. So when you see that, you're like, oh, a deal. Okay. Like it used to be this much. So if you are actually going to use a discount, definitely use this because it's a great way to increase your sales. Okay. Just want to give that little spiel there. If you're using the biggest plan, which is like around 97 or 99 a month, you can use this. I have just the small plan, so I don't personally have that. So I'm going to skip it. This is going to be fields right here. I think name and email is just going to be fine. The more fields you add, the more hoops your potential customer has to jump through. And I like keeping it just like this because say if you added 100, who in their right mind is going to enter in their name, their email, their address, their middle name, their brother's name, their pet fish's gold name, their blood type, and so on and so forth. They're like, no way, I'm not doing it. So just telling you because I like minimizing the amount of fields I have, not only when someone's making a purchase, but maybe opting in as well. It's going to help increase your conversions, okay? And right here we have our digital product. So you can redirect to a URL. What you can do if you have a website, just simply upload it there and get the link. If you don't have a website, what you can use is something say like Dropbox, right? Then you can get the link. You can use Google Drive. Both of those last options are free. So you always have a way of doing that. Or if you simply have a PDF file like me, just simply do upload file. I'm going to click on upload and get it from my desktop. All right, there we go. Marketing Island PDF. And what we can do instead of just actually publishing it, you can do save as a draft. And once again, I'm going to go back to it and I want to go to the options section right here. All right. So I just want to highlight one important actual feature here. A lot of these are going to be on the upgraded plan, but this one confirmation email, this is going to be where they get it. Okay. So it says your order from my username is here. It says hi, customer name. These are going to be naturally populated or auto populated. Remember they give us their name and we have their email. So it'll be sent to that. Thank you for ordering. Here's your order. This is going to be where they can download it. So naturally if you uploaded it, or even if you put a link, it's going to be put there. But the reason I'm showing you 
you this because if you want to add anything else, you certainly can, okay? This is gonna be where you personalize it and obviously you wanna keep the things that are important here. Anything else, that's gonna be where it goes. But, but nevertheless, once you are done with that, I'm just gonna click on Publish right here. All right, and before I just kind of showcase what it looks like, what I wanna show you here is that when you have your link in bio here, if what you're gonna be selling is the most important thing, just make sure you put it up on top right here, okay? Just a little bit of a tip, because say if you had 10 of these boxes and you had to scroll down really, really far, ideally, not a lot of people are gonna scroll all the way down. It's just the way it works. If you've ever went to a website, ask yourself, how often do you scroll all the way down to the bottom? And you're probably gonna be like, well, James, not too often, and it's the same thing here. So whatever it is that is the most important whenever someone arrives at your stand store, make sure it's gonna be right here where all of the eyeballs are gonna be, okay? So assuming that your digital product is gonna be the most important, just make sure you put it on top and that's exactly how you can do it. So we have one more step, okay? What you wanna do here is go to settings, which is gonna be on the bottom left section, and then you wanna to go to payments. So all you need to do here in order to start selling is making sure that you have either Stripe connected or PayPal, and it is very straightforward. I don't wanna go through because one, I've already done it with Stripe, and two, it's just obviously you know, private details, but all you would need to do, say if you're adding PayPal or Stripe, you simply click on it, you log into your PayPal account, and then you connect it, all right? It is very straightforward. I'm sure they even have articles about it, but it's pretty much not needing to explain anymore aside from you putting in your information, and that's gonna be what you're doing, all right? So that's gonna be the final step. Once you have that connected, of course, you can start selling using Stand Store. All right, and so here's just an example with the Stand Store right here. We have Get My Ebook Now. I'm gonna do click here to continue. All right, very straightforward, and it's even gonna look so much better on mobile just because everything is gonna be in one nice little section with the logo on top, which you can see it when you're creating your stand store, but this is on desktop. We have our price that's discounted, normally $19.99 or whatever it is, now $9.99. We have our AI-generated description, which of course you can make edits to, change around. We have our call to action. We can get the Marketing Island ebook here, enter your name, enter your email, and of course this is gonna be where they check out when they are done. So I hope that you enjoyed this Stand Store digital products tutorial where I show you how to set up and sell a digital product on Stand Store. I hope it was simple enough for you to follow along with the steps that was given. If I forgot about anything or if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I have so many videos that it is getting harder for me to respond to all of them, but at least someone else can always chime in as well. That's the beauty of comments, of course. Last but not least, if you haven't gotten to test out Stand Store and maybe you're just watching this to see how it works, you can click the link down below in the description description or the pinned comment to try it for free today. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.